all they do on them yeah if you work at amazon y'all know all they do is carry around their little computers all day just they in the break room they in the bathroom everywhere they go carrying on these computers all they doing is tracking you like literally the whole time tracking you tracking you tracking you Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today we're going to be doing an Amazon video about my first and my only write-up. So, I know you guys love my Amazon videos. I don't know why, but I guess everybody just want to know about Amazon and how it is to work here. And if you already work here, you can probably relate to this. And if you're about to work here, then just know what you in for, okay? So yeah, disclaimer, none of my videos are to bash Amazon or anything like that. I'm just giving y'all like my life experience working there and just telling y'all like what it is from my perspective but yeah let's just get into my first little write-up so first of all i'm gonna start by telling you guys like what department i work in so y'all can understand so every amazon tool is different keep this in mind because y'all might not if you work at amazon you might not understand what i'm talking about because you might not have this specific department at your location but my department is like in the line outbound so basically what we do is ship different products out to other amazon locations so they can distribute them out okay so we get like a million laptop cases we're gonna send 50 to new york 50 to pa 50 to la so they can distribute them out to customers, okay? So we get the big items and they get shipped out, okay? So our jobs usually consist of either like stacking a trailer, so it will be like a big truck and we'll stack up boxes or sometimes like another big thing is like scanning. So we'll scan a package and it, like we'll say like let's say we want to go to new york oh we're gonna scan this package and we're gonna scan it on to a new york um pallet you know that pallet is going to new york so we're gonna scan this box and put it on the pallet that's going to new york so that that package can go to new york okay hopefully i'm making sense okay it's it's simple we scan the package it goes on the pallet that specific pallet goes to new york okay so when you first start working it, like those are basically like the main two jobs, like scanning or stacking a trailer. As you continue to work there, there's other jobs like problem solving, blah, blah, blah. But when you first start working there, you're either scanning or stacking, like that's it. So when I first started working there for like the first couple of months, I was just scanning and stacking, right? But then it was during peak season. Like I think it was like right after peak season was over or right about the time that peak season was about to end. Peak season is like basically like Christmas time, November, like the pop in time where everybody's ordering peak the peak <laughs> so it was around this time so at this time like other departments needed help too so sometimes they would send people to other departments right so getting into the actual story now okay so this particular week they sent me the inbound right they sent me the inbound inbound is completely opposite from outbound two different departments i don't work over there I don't know why they sent me over there. Of course, they sent me over there because they didn't have no other people. But why did y'all why want to send me? Because I'm not from that department. So don't send me over there. But anyway, they already know if I do not go over there now. But that's another story. So anyway, I'm in inbound or whatever. They sent me an inbound for two days, right? It is now the third day. And I only work four days a week. So y'all sent me to another department for two days straight. They was about to send me there for a third day. But I didn't want to go there on the third day and I told them I'm not going there no more because I got into an argument with somebody over there and I just felt like it was just best I just stay in my department because me and her was going to fight if I saw her again. So, <laughs> yeah. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story about how me and this girl was going to fight at Amazon for literally nonsense. But it is what it is. <laughs> but anyway, the third day, I'm like, bro, I'm not going over there because first of all, that's not my department. That's her department. So I'm not going to like, I already got beef with her. I'm not going over there. And that's just that. So I told them I'm going to stay in my little department. So that day they put me like stacking in the truck. And I decided to stay in a truck all day because I like to stay in a truck because I'm just in the truck all day. So then 
The next day in the morning when I came in, they assigned me scanning for the first half. So it's like two halves. So they'll say like in the morning you're you're scanning or in the afternoon you're stacking. But if you go in the morning and they put you stacking, you can say, oh, I want to stack all day. And they'll leave you in a truck for the first half and the second half. But this particular day, they put me scanning first. So I didn't have the option whether or not to like, you know, stack all day or whatever. So I had to stack, scan in the morning and stack in the afternoon, right? So two days, I was in another department. They tried to send me there for the third day. I didn't go to the third day. I stayed in the truck all day. And then the fourth day, I scanned in the morning and then I stacked in the afternoon, right? So I only worked four days. So that's the four days. Two days in another department, one day in the truck, half of a day scanned and half of a day in the truck, okay? So let's fast forward a week. I'm going I'm to go, I'm going to kind of get over the place, but you got to connect the dots, okay? So it's a week later from that week. Like that week meant nothing to me. I didn't think about it no more. I never saw the girl no more. I never went to inbound again. Like it's a week later. I don't, I'm, I'm not even thinking about nothing. My manager comes up to me and he's like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? I'm like, hey, like, what's up? And he comes up to me and he's like, oh, um, can I speak to you? And we already know, like, when a manager be like, oh, I want to talk to you. They want to pull you to the side. You already know, like, it's either you in trouble, you did something wrong, or like, I don't know, because what else is there for us to talk about? Like, we say hi and bye, like, for you to pull me to the side, you got, like, it's a problem. So I already knew that when I was looking over there. So I was like, hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. Is it that, like, I took too long on my break? Like, did I do something wrong? Like, because I had some, like, I don't know. Like, I was thinking of, like, I'm confused. Like, I'm walking with him to the side. And I'm like, what is he pulling me to the side for? Because, like, what? So he comes up to me and he's like, oh, Jada, like, oh, we're not ganging up on you. Because it was him and another manager. And he introduced him. I already knew what they was. And I was like, okay we're not ganging up on you okay i know you're not ganging up on me like what's the problem like let's get to it so he's like oh i just want to say like for last week's like your scans were low so i'm sitting there thinking like last week last week two other days i was in a whole nother department and then one day i stayed in the trailer and then only one day i scanned for half of a day so i'm like talking to him at the same time and I'm like what are you talking about and he's like oh yeah your scans were really low for this day blah blah and I'm thinking because let me just say this too like when I go to work I actually work like I'm not lazy I'm not none of that like I do what I have to do like I be scanning those boxes I be stacking those trucks up like I'm not lazy at all so I'm thinking like bro I'm trying to think back to that day mind you we like I'm trying to think what day was that like where was I scanning that and what does he mean my scans were low because like, that's, like, literally impossible. Like, how is my skin low if I'm scanning the whole time? Like, how is my skin low? What are you talking about? So he's like, oh, yeah, your scans are low. So I tell him, I'm like, I'm not really sure, like, what you're talking about because two of the days I was in and bound another department, and then I only scanned one time for half of a day. Remember, I told y'all, two days in and bound, one, one day in the whole truck, only half of a day scanned it, another day, have other half in the truck. So I only scanned for half of a day for the whole week. So he's like, yeah, like that's the problem. Like because you only scan for half of a day, we don't really have nothing to base it on or average it out with because you only scan for half of a day. So I'm like, okay, so like why are you penalizing me because y'all only put me scanning one time? Like why are you trying to write me up for that? So he's like, yeah, just because your scans were, like, the lowest in the building. <laughs> I'm, like, really, like, I'm, like, genuinely, like, confused. Like, genuinely confused. Cause I'm like, bro, what is this man talking about? Like, what does he mean my scans were the lowest in the building? As if I'm sitting here absolutely doing nothing when I was scanning the whole time. But every time I scan, I know I scan it all the time. So he's like, yeah, your scans were the lowest in the building. And we compared it to the people that was also scanning on the same, scanning on the same line as you. And... Like, your score was just, like, really low compared to theirs. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. He's like, yeah, we just need you to sign this paper. I don't know why I signed a paper. Like, you should never sign a write-up. But at the time, like, I didn't even care. I was just like, whatever. Like, I was genuinely, like, trying to think about what day was I scanning and where was I scanning at that my scans were so low when I already know how I am and I know that I be scanning in the back of this. 
So I signed a paper or whatever. He showed me the write up all like, and I'm just like, whatever. I'm just like, whatever. I was really pissed off. I was just like, whatever. So I go back to doing what I'm doing. I'm like, whatever. He wrote me up for that nonsense or whatever. I don't even care. So I'm going back to like where I was working before and I'm just sitting there thinking like, bro, like what line was I on that my scans were so low? Like, I'm not understanding. Like, where was I at that my scans were so low? So then I started thinking back to that day. So that day that my scans were quote unquote low, there was like literally like 10 people working on the line. Usually it's like three people, but it was 10 people. So now the packages that would normally be divided by, you know, three people are now getting divided by 10, right? So we're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, usually like if there's like, let's just say 30 boxes, like, and there's three of us, we will all get 10 and we will all scan 10 boxes. But if it's 10 of us, we're all gonna get three. So that automatically makes your rate lower because you're scanning a lower amount of boxes right so i'm thinking about that like it was 10 people on the line why because they were training new people right so y'all were training new people that's one reason right so it was 10 people on that line so that's why my scores were low because it was way more people and then number two all those new people had regular scanners so like it was a little scanner and we would scan the box and put it there right but during this time, they came out with, like, this new, like, type of tablet screen. So, all of us, what we were doing were we had to take the box and put it underneath, like, this little light. And it's like a little tablet. And uh, you put it under the light, and it would say, the destination will pop up. Like, it would say, like, JFK 8. So, you would have to put it there, scan it, wait for the destination, put it on the pallet, and then press a the little button on the line to confirm that you put it there. So that's what you have to do for every package. So that slows you down by like 100, especially when the machine is slow. So instead of me just scanning JFK8, all oh, and put it here, scan, I have to go JFK8. <laughs> uh, let me go back and press the button. For one package, instead of me just JFK8, there we go. And that's another reason. And then the third reason is because when you're assigned a little tablet screen that I was using, you're only allowed to put in, like the, the, the destinations that are like right there. You get what I'm saying? So if I say like JFK 8, they use like airports as like destination. Like JFK is in New York, so that's New York. Um, ATL 7, ATL is in Atlanta, so that's going to Atlanta, Georgia. So let's say my little tablet screen, I only had New York, Philly, and Cali, right? If a package is going to Alaska and I scan it, I got to put it back on the line because I only have those three destinations. You get what I'm saying? So if I get a package for Alaska, oh, that's not JFK. Oh, that's not Philadelphia. Oh, that's not California. So that's what I got to do. Put the package back on the line. Whereas if I have a scanner and a package says, I scan it says, oh, Alaska, Okay, I can put it, like, I have the, like, you can move around. Like, you can put it literally any in any other pallets, okay? I hope that's making sense. So, it's like a line of different pallets with different destinations. If you're using a tablet, you're only subjected to those three destinations. If you're using a scanner, you can use, you can go anywhere on the line. If you have a, a package from Michigan, you can put it there. Guess what? I can't because I don't have those destinations as my three pallets. If you have a package for Hawaii, I can't put it there, but you can. So you get what I'm saying? So a lot of the packages that day were literally going to a different destination than I have, which sucked because even though it was going to a different destination, I literally still have to scan it and figure out where it's going. So I'm literally scanning it and putting it back on the line, scanning it and putting it back on the line. And I'm like, bro, I was working so hard that day. Like, and you're trying to penalize me? So I wasn't scared enough when I was working my butt off just to put it back on the line because I didn't have the destination and literally doing the best I could. And you're trying to penalize me why I had the lowest scores in the building. Like, of course I had the lowest scores in the building when I was using these stupid tablets that only got three destinations. While everybody else on my line was using regular scanners. Like, of course I have the lowest. Like, I don't understand, of course. Like, the freak. So I found, like, keep in mind too, like, while he was, like, telling me, I didn't understand. Like, I was trying to think back to that day, but, like, this is like 
every day there's like deja vu like repeating the same thing so it was hard for me to initially figure out like what day was that but when i finally did figure out what day it was like i was like uh-uh yeah i don't think he's getting away with that <laughs> so when i saw him the next day i think it was the next week actually because i had i had all that week so now this is the third week. The first week is the regular week when the scan is in place for that one day. The second week is when he wrote he like wrote me up. <laughs> and then the third week. Now we're getting the third week. So when I see him on that day, I come to him like, hey, I need to talk to you. But keep in mind too, I already signed the paper. But I still feel like I want to see what was gonna happen because I don't think that I don't agree with it. So I came up to him and I'm like, "Hey, I need to talk to you, or whatever." He's like, "Okay, like what's up?" And he, I was like, "Yeah, I don't think it's right that like I had to sign the paper because I had the lowest scores in the building, just simply because like y'all yeah, had me in a different department for two days, which I shouldn't have been. Y'all yeah, almost put me there for three days, and I shouldn't have been in that department. And also because like the fact of the line that I was working on, you have me working on the tablets and they already know the tablets are a mess. So I told him that and he was like, oh yeah, I definitely understand. But like, he already signed the paper. <laughs> but he was being like, kind of like a smart ass about it. And like, I can understand cause I, I did sign the paper, but he, I was like, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I could talk to you or like somebody else about it because you know, you're allowed to fight like a write up. Like just because you did a write up, like that don't mean you have to sign it. My dumb self signed it, but you really don't have to sign it. Like, you could literally fight it. Like, there's been plenty of times that people have fought it. I'm just moving this. There's been plenty of times that people have fought a write-up and, like, they won because it was correct. And it was basically, to me, it was just, like, all they had to do was run the cameras back and see, like, literally, I was working the whole time and I was scanning the whole time. There's people there that don't do nothing and people on my line that wasn't doing nothing. But because, like, they scanned all week compared to me who only scanned one day, it basically, like, averaged out. Like, let's say they did... 100% one day and 50% one day, it averages out to 75. I did 100%. Apparently, they only got that I did 50. But <laughs> I only got 50 because I don't have nothing else to compare it to. You get what I'm saying? So when he said, like, oh, I compared it to other people, like, yeah, the scores are higher because they were scanning for more days. But long story short, I basically told him, like, he basically told me, like, he was being like a smart ass about it. He was just like, oh, like, if you want to speak to the operations manager, like, you can do that. But I'm telling you right now, it's nothing you could do. And honestly, I was just like, mm, I don't really care. The only reason why I did care a little bit is because at this time, I was trying to change my, switch my schedule over. And I couldn't, You they don't let you switch your schedule when you have write-up. So that's the only reason, too, why I thought it. Because at this time, like, I lived with my parents. I was not dependent on this job. I didn't care about this job at all. But I just wanted to change my schedule. So that's what I was trying to tell him. Like, I want to take away the write-up. And I don't think it's right. But he's like, yeah, being a smart ass about it. Yeah, you can go to our operation manager. There's nothing they can do about it. I'm just telling you that right now, blah, blah, blah. And I would just like, whatever. I'm going to take this L. And that's just that. So I was disappointed because I couldn't trust my schedule. But after like 30 days, it's all fear. It's all fear. Like, it's off. It don't matter. And then I think after, I don't know, after a certain amount of time, it drops. Like, it really doesn't matter. That write up means nothing. Like, Literally nothing to this day. It means nothing. Like, it never affected me in no way besides not being changed my schedule. Like, doesn't mean absolutely nothing. I don't know. He was trying to scan me with that right now. He was like, yeah, because if you get one, it's, it's okay. And then another warning, and then a third warning, and then you're fired. Baby, I don't care. <laughs> like, you was trying to threaten me. Like, oh, if you get three, you're fired. Like, you owe me up for nonsense. But... Anyways, I hope this makes sense. Like, if you work at Amazon, you probably understand more, kind of. But I hope the way I was explaining it made sense. And I've actually heard so many people, co like, complain about, like, their race and stuff. Like, they can't go to the bathroom or anything. And me, before this, I was like, like, what did I talk about? Like, my, my manager does not care about me going to the bathroom. And they really don't. I don't know why, what happened that day. Like, what? They were trying to take me out. <laughs> but... They really don't usually care, but I can understand because literally all they do on a, yeah, if you work at Amazon, I know all they do is carry around their little computers all day. Just, they in the break room, they in the bathroom, everywhere they go, carrying on these computers. All they doing is tracking you, like literally the whole time, tracking you, tracking you, tracking you. And like I said, people was complaining, but I feel like I never can relate to that, but now I definitely understand. People saying they can't go to the bathroom, they do anything, it's TOT, time off task, or whatever, but... 
I don't know. Every location is different. This is my little story about my first little write-up. Yeah, it didn't really affect me in no way, so it's whatever. Looking back on it now, I wish I would have just fought it because I just, like, why don't I have a write-up? But it really did, didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't mean absolutely nothing. But, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Hopefully, you guys liked it. You guys love my Amazon story, so... Let me know what else y'all want to hear about Amazon. Y'all have any more questions, any more anything. I love when y'all write your comments and y'all tell me y'all experience or y'all talk about, oh, yeah, I'm about to start working at Amazon. So, <laughs> good luck to y'all. More power to y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, right now. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video.